Hello everyone, welcome back to a new What I Wore in a Week. Bit of a spontaneous um, decision to film this, so my mirror is not that clean and I've not got that much time to show you my outfit, but I thought I'd begin it anyway. Here is a good place to start because um, I'm going out tonight with some of my fella influencer gals and we're going to a restaurant called Kitten. It's a new, well, yeah, it's pretty new. Um, I've never been before. It only opened a couple of months ago and it's like a Japanese, so it's really cool um, and really quite aesthetically pleasing as well. So I'm going there tonight. I think there's five of us in total, so it should be a really nice night. Um, it's Thursday, the 15th of September. So this is what I'm wearing. Slightly autumnal feel in the air, but not too autumnal. Um, we've just come back from Santorini actually two days ago. So I'm still kind of holding on to summer a little bit longer. And I just wanted to get the most out of these earrings. These are these amazing leaf earrings from Zara. I've also just had my hair cut today. I'm really liking this shorter style. My inspo was Chrissy Turlington. I showed a photo of her to the hairdresser um, and this is what came out. So really happy with it. I like the kind of 90s vibes of it. Yeah, anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I've got these earrings on because I think this outfit could go totally kind of Christmassy and festive party season if you've got some kind of diamante sparkly earrings on, which I tried on before but I just thought they were too Christmassy. This still feels a bit summery and that's the beauty of these kind of basics is that you can really change the way they look depending on um, the time of year. So I've got this um, silk blouse on from Novo London with the shoulder pads in, which I love. It just kind of gives it a bit of extra something. Um, and to me, it feels quite 1940s with this shoulder pad. Um, detail. Trousers, ignore the mess in the background please, <laughs> as I say uh, it was a bit of a spontaneous decision to film but trousers are from Karen Millen. I just wanted something really comfortable because you know when you come back from holiday and you just want something comfy and to wear all black because you've eaten way too much. Um, that is my situation. I wanted something comfortable, a nice elast elasticated waist uh, for when we eat tonight. So I've got these caramel and trousers, which I'm not sure whether they're in stock. These ones are maybe two years old now, but I think they might still do them. They do kind of need a bit of a steam just here, but I might just have to grin and bear it. And then my Arquette slingback mules to finish the look. So, oh, and my handbag, one second. The sun has just come out um, and this is the handbag I'm wearing, my Cult Gaia beaded bag. I absolutely love this. So this is my outfit. Very sunny. Um, I don't know if I'll take a jacket or not, but if I do, it'll just be kind of slung over my shoulders and taken off when I get there. But yeah, outfit number one of the week and very much looking forward to trying kitten out. Hi everyone, so it's the next morning now. Uh, well, it's actually nearly lunchtime. I had such a nice night at Kitten last night. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. If you're in Manchester, I would highly, highly recommend. It's Japanese, I think I mentioned that. So we kind of all shared bits and bobs, but it was just perfect, really good food and great company as well. I'm gonna to talk to you about today's outfit because it's Friday and I think I mentioned that I was meeting, did I mention this? I've got a lot on, well, I've had a lot on the past couple of days. Um, I'm meeting a friend today who lives in Wales at the minute and she's just up in Manchester. So we kind of had to take the opportunity to meet up. We're going to Selfridges for some lunch and this is what I'm wearing. So, excuse me about the sun. I've got my Celine Sunnies on. Uh, Monica Vinader necklace. This um, jacket is from Sana New York last year. My Dior bag, plush denim trousers, and my Todd's loafers. I'll just close the curtains actually so you can see it hopefully a bit better. Okay, that's so much better. You can see it a lot more clearly, but I'm really into these kind of loose 90s vibes. Um, I think the sunglasses as well really give off the 90s vibe as well with this kind of oval cat eye situation. So, this is Friday's outfit for heading out for lunch. I have no idea what temperature is. it is, but it looks quite sunny, so hopefully it won't be too cold. Okay, so outfit of the night. I think I mentioned earlier that we were going out tonight to have something to eat and then we're gonna watch a country music gig. So 
that is what I am dressed for. I had a really nice lunch <laughs> and now out again. So I've got this blazer on from Sarna New York, another Sarna blazer actually. Uh, this is just my camel one. I've had this for quite a long time. I don't think they do it anymore. My hoops are from Cezanne. Lipstick is under the stories. I've just got a tank top on from Arquette and then my silk trousers from Hush and then my Adidas Continentals and Bottega bag just to kind of tie it all together. Just a kind of casual, easy look. And I wanted to add the pop of red lip because uh, we're going out in the evening, it's Friday night. Hi everyone, so it's Sunday now. We've actually got a bank holiday weekend here in the UK um, because tomorrow is the Queen's funeral. So it's gonna be quite a sad day, I think. Everybody's kind of off tomorrow in order to watch it. So we're actually going around to my mum and dad's and we're gonna watch it there. Um, but we're going tonight, well, this afternoon instead. And it's actually come quite sunny now. Yeah, the weather's kind of changed. It said it was just gonna be cloudy today. Um, but it's quite sunny and warm. So this is what I've got on. Um, I just decided that I wanted to wear this shirt because I thought it was maybe gonna be the last time I could get away with wearing such a kind of summery shirt. Um, and then I've popped this oversized cardigan on with it. This is from Monkey. This is a new in piece, so hopefully I'll be able to link this. But I love the shape of this. I feel like it's gonna be such a useful one to throw over pieces. And I think, again, talking about longevity and how you can get the most out of your clothes. For example, here I'm wearing this summer shirt, this linen shirt from With Nothing Underneath, but then, no, this isn't linen. This is like a weave, cotton weave. So summery pieces like this, and then chuck over a cozy cardigan, and it just creates a really easy look. I did have some white jeans on, but I just felt like they were a bit too dressy. So I've just swapped them for these hush, my relaxed, Hush jeans and then these new shoes from Bobby's which are really cute they are shearling inside you can see the shearling but they're so comfortable um I went up a size and they're still a little bit small so I definitely would recommend going up a size um I'm a kind of half size so I'd say a full go up one full size if you can they don't come in half sizes I think this is a 40 anyway they're super super comfortable um and then i've got my celine's on because it's quite sunny as i say it's just a very easy relaxed outfit i think very exciting so yeah outfit of the day for sunday probably won't be vlogging tomorrow um filming tomorrow i mean i won't i'll probably just be wearing something very very similar um and then probably i'll catch you again on tuesday maybe Hi everyone, it is Tuesday now and I've just been working back to work today and I have been, well, I filmed a video for YouTube which should be already up by now actually um, and also I have done a load of emails. So that has been today. It's now I think about quarter to 11 and I'm just gonna nip out and get my nails done. I've had them done before, since before holiday. I'm gonna quickly do that before lunch and then we've got a meeting this afternoon with our accountant, so that should be fun. So this is what I'm wearing. I've got this new knit on from Monkey. I love the kind of contrasting sleeves. You can see like chunky, chunky stripes and then slimmer stripes. And yeah, it's just a really nice one to throw on this kind of time of year when you don't need a really, really chunky high neck knit, just like a round neck um, is a great option. And yeah, just really, really like this. And then white jeans are my Dear Francis loafers, just to tie in a bit of the cream from the jumper. And then I'll probably throw a trench coat over the top. Um, this is kind of an easy transitional look um, with loafers stripy knit and some light denim, I think is a really easy way to um, take your style from summer more into autumn. I'm just gonna throw over the top this Marsala uh, trench coat as well, just keeps it kind of in tying with the light beige shades that I've got in the outfit, but um, it looks like it's kind of drizzling. So I need a bit of a cover, but it's not like pouring down with rain or anything. So. Um, Pop in this oversized trench with it and I shall be on my way. Okay, so I'm just giving you a quick outfit update because um, I went out this morning, as you know, as you've just seen, to get my nails done. I don't know what the color is, but it's like a dark, 
they're gonna do red for the new season um but i was quite chilly so i thought i'd change into something a little bit warmer for our meeting this afternoon so we've got this blazer on this is from last year sauna new york um my knit is our cat it's a merino high neck one couldn't recommend this enough it's such a great piece to have as a base layer or to wear on its own it's it's not see-through at all and yeah it's just a really nice basic my dual bag just to kind of tie in a bit of the black my jeans are from duracoco um my gucci loafers and i'm gonna pop my silly and sunglasses on because it's kind of come a little bit brighter outside so i might just pop these on um i don't think i'll bother with a belt today but i think you could easily belt this um or also wear it with some like wide slouchy leg jeans and belt those as well just like quite an easy top layer to wear and then you can mix up the trousers depending on your occasion you could put some smarter trousers with this too so yeah i'm quite getting into slowly getting into um autumn style now i feel like i just wasn't excited this year every year normally i'm well ahead of things and get so excited in like august but I was just kind of delaying it this year. We've been on holiday. Well, we were on holiday last week. So I don't know, just not felt in the mood for autumn at all. Let me know if you're the same, but I just really wasn't feeling it. I felt like I'd not got enough out of my summer items yet. So um, I don't know, I'm slowly getting into it though. The more I wear, the more I get into it. I think it's because we have really long winters here in the UK. So I just feel like I want to always make the most out of summer. But yeah, slowly easing my way into autumn style. Um, but hopefully you like this one. I, this is kind of giving me inspiration to go forward into my new autumn wardrobe. Hi everyone, so it's Wednesday morning. I just wanted to show you a bit more of an at-home outfit um, for today. So every morning usually, um, once I've done my workout, had a shower, I'll get in some comfy clothes and head downstairs to do some emails have my breakfast, usually that's about half seven. And I always want to wear something comfortable then. I saw a mark on it. Um, I always want to wear something comfortable then. And then what I do usually is start filming, so I'll begin change. But I always want to start the day off in something comfortable um, and sometimes I'll get back into this later in the day. So I've got this set on here. Um, this is from Naked Fashion. I don't know if this is still available, but they do some great kind of lounge wear and sets like this. Um, this I think is from their Josephine collection and it's like a light beige, but I always think um, if you're going to wear um, like a sweatsuit or something like that, then um, going matching is always a good idea. It just makes you feel a little bit more put together and polished, even if it's something really comfortable like this set. And I actually am preferring more of a wide leg jogger. These are quite long, actually. We've got a split hem, but I'm actually preferring more of a wide leg jogger at the minute. I just think they look better when you're wearing like slippers around the house. I think um, the wide leg looks a bit i don't know it just looks a bit better and also you could just throw this on with trainers and a trench coat and head out if you wanted to and not look too slobbish so just thought i'd show you that outfit um i might show you what i am wearing later on um and then i think this will be the last outfit of the week that i'm going to show you so i'll probably see you in a bit to tune out to log log out sign off <laughs> um and yeah i'm going to crack on with some filming now Okay, I'm just gonna show you my final outfit now. All my filming's done and I thought I would just keep this dress on that I had um, for my last outfit that I was filming. It's from Rosé Paris, but it kind of reminds me of a Totem one. I think the Totem one might be slightly more wintry, but um, it's just like her kind of cream knit dress with a side split. It's kind of perfect for this time of year because it's actually quite warm outside. And then I've popped this trench coat with it from Marcella, my Vela sunglasses, and Chloe bag, and Adidas Stan Smith. So I'm just nipping out, I'm gonna take Ottie out. I've got a few bits and bobs to do whilst I'm out. He's actually howling downstairs. <laughs> so I better go and see to him. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this What I Wore in a Week for the transitional season. If you did, hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video.